Welcome to Spinal Antics. It's new car day. Uh, been a bit of a turbulent purchase, this one. I'll fill you in in a minute. Let's bring it in and have a chat. Is here. Okay, you might be wondering why am I bought a Mark IV Golf Estate? Now I've never really liked Mark IV Golfs, but I do quite like Estates. So let's take story back to the beginning, about six weeks ago. So I've been getting back into skateboarding again after a 30 year, uh, 30 year? Yeah, maybe, 25 year gap. Uh, my kids have been learning so I thought ah, it'd be nice to get back into it again. Getting back into it, really enjoying it. Never skated ramps or parks before so I got back into sort of skating a mini ramp. So uh, I decided uh, it'd be a good chance get back into that. Anyway, I had a bit of a stack. I've already got some nerve damage in my neck from being younger anyway. So this shoulder's a bit weak. It took a big hit, dislocated and tore a load of stuff. Rubbish. Anyway, whilst sitting in a and getting scanned and x-rayed, I realised driving a manual car is going to be a bit tricky. As driving back from skate park, I was driving right hand weird shifting. So I thought I needed a state car. Immediately thought Volvo 740. So wicked, jumped to the marketplace, found a couple. I happened to find one up near somewhere we were going. So I was like, ah, I tell you what. So I messaged the guy, I did this all like base in the first night. I've been looking at chopping in the Ranger anyway, because the back seats are getting a bit small for the twins. So marketplace, I found this Volvo. Looked pretty good from the pictures, rang the guy, had a chat. He was keen on swapping for the Ranger. Sweet, straight swap, get it done. Auto 740. Uh, it's cool. Now we arranged to meet late on a Friday night at a service station and swap V5s. So uh, here's the video of me driving into that dodgy dark petrol station. Let's just wait to see who turns up. Fingers crossed. My wife's a bit worried I'm going to get stabbed and murdered. But there we go. Hey ho, let's find out. <laughs> well, this is dark and dodgy. <laughs> As you can see, coming up on this dude in the middle of an empty car park. I stopped filming there, jumped out, I had a look around the car, it was okay. We started the engine up misfiring all over the place. Oh, gutted. Then I was looking at Mercedes W124 Estates with the straight sixes, pretty cool. Looked at a few of them. Nothing came up in my price range, which is cheap. And then I thought about looking at, you know, when my wife tore a knee, we got her a Mark 1 Golf Auto, and it was wicked. So I was like, oh, Auto Golfs, but I need a boot. So Mark 4 Golfs, the cheapest estate golf money can buy. Uh, and this being a example, bought off Marketplace, owned by an old couple who have had it for years and years and years and years, and being sold by their son, who didn't live near the car. That's an important fact. We chat about the car, send me some pictures, they're all right, they're taken from his mum. 
Uh, supposed to be all mint, all grey. Yeah, tidy, tidy outside, tidy everywhere. Perfect running car. Great. So I go on Shipley. You have used Shipley? It's ace. So I put the job on there. People bid for it. Got bid to get it picked up. Gets picked up. Gets dropped off this morning. Happy days. Comes off the low loader. We get it off. Ah, I start looking round in my heart sinks. Mint, it is not. It started off, and I've had to clean this off. But here's a photo. The bathroom ceiling around all the windows. Just look shit. Straight off, then a smashed headlight covered in bathroom ceiling, joined it back together. This is a mint, you know, not mint, but like good, nice car for his age. Got a few knocks and scrapes around it, didn't really bother me. Apparently the inside was supposed to be clean, tidy, no damage. Get inside it, door cards are disgusting, all worn, falling apart. I'm like, oh God, this is not a good start. Look up, headline has fallen down. It's like, fucking hell, what have I bought with Marketplace? Ring the guy up, who I bought it off anyway. I've just paid to get it transported, paid for it. Bring the uh, the guy up and said, look. I sent him a picture and said, look, I've, something's gone wrong. Like, the description does not match the car in any way. Uh, I think I'm going to get it back to you. I'm just going to bring it back. You know, you can just, I'll just, I'll get it shit back to you and get my money back. It's not as described, so, you know. And he admitted he thought the car was in better condition than it was. Yeah, anyway, we've to and fro, to and fro. Anyway, we come to a, an agreement, a monetary value agreement, so I think we're keeping it. Not 100% yet. I'm still waiting for him to actually give me some of my money back. So, what was supposed to be a quick, easy daily is now turning to a little bit of a project. And if it's a bit of a project, we might as well make it cool at the same time. As cool as you can make a Mark IV Golf, which I think possibly is one of the ugliest fronts on the car. I don't know. But hey, uh, let's have a little look around. Let's have a look around, shall we? One careful lady owner, apparently. It's a little bit skanky. Oh, we've got down lights. They're posh. Yeah, interior door cards are all pretty disgusting. It's all a bit minging, actually. It's going to need a real good clean out. It's going to need these dear door cards fully stripping down. The back's okay. Oh, it comes with some stuff. Gardening gloves. And an umbrella. And these little things, what the hell are they for? Any idea? Random. Headliner issues as well. So, it also smells a little bit damp. Like some water's got in here somewhere. There it is, the boot. That's why I got this car. I need an estate car for the 20s, and I like the fact it's got this shelfy thing. So if you've got any gear in the back, you can hide it. So, it did come with a headlight. Unfortunately, the wrong headlight that it needs. And a cool box. And some original mats, by the looks of it. Now you can see it's an auto, and there's a reason I bought an auto. What is going on there? That is disgusting. Golf. It's maiden voyage up to Volksworld. It's going. If you haven't seen the last episode on Volksworld, go and check it out. 
it's driving pretty well. Sits at sort of, you know, 70 miles an hour easy. It likes to sit at about 80, but obviously we don't drive that fast. Uh, the auto box seems okay. When it downshifts, it's a little lazy to pick up. I think it could probably do with a good old service. Uh, the previous owner had no idea when it had anything, so now I've de-scuzzed it, taken all the sealant off the windows, and cleaned it with an inch of its life, and torn off the door cards, and sort of put them back together best I can. Uh, I'm happy with it, so uh, time to uh, do some upgrades. I've ordered lowering springs, a new headlight, new door bits and bobs, uh, gonna get a cam belt water pump, auto service, just run through it, it's got a bit of clunk on the front end, on that left hand wheel, there's a ball joint or a bush out there. So, uh, otherwise, pretty happy with the new daily. Uh, yeah, after a bit of a ropey start to it, it's gonna be all right. Happy days. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Spanos Antics. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check me out on Insta, all the links are below. And uh, yeah, I now own two long roofs. Tell you some right old granddad. Speed camera ahead. Oh, speed camera ahead. Take it easy, see you later. Well, that's it from this episode of Spanish Antics. We're going to try and get this 1.9 diesel Golf Estate back up and running. Uh, what do you think we should do with it? Let me know. Take it easy.